There's this tiny little maroon village just outside of Paramaribo. Been told to ask for uh, a Cheney. It's the head woodcarver here. I'll be flying out to the rainforest later today, but I wanted to stop here first. A Cheney? Yes. Ah. Uh, this is uh, this is sort of your your place. Yes. Yeah, and these are these are the the chairs I've been the hearing all about. The making this place. Yeah, look at yeah. that. This is great. The Maroons are famous for their wood carving. The descendants of escaped slaves, most still live in the jungle. But these guys move close to the city so they can earn a living. These are what they're known for. It folds up, and the big deal with this is. Look at it, no hinges, it's made out of one piece of wood. These folding chairs are a big part of maroon culture. When a man sees a woman he likes, he gives her one of these to show his affection. If you love her, then you know the name, you, you put the name. Oh, you put her name in it? Yeah, oh, it's like a big love letter, basically, yes. right? Yeah, all right. Since these men left the village, these chairs have all but disappeared back home. So when I fly in, I'll take one with me as a gift. Thank you very much. Take my chair and go. And here it is! I'm flying south into the interior, heading for Yao Yao. Where the Maroon live now, it's as isolated as it gets. But that was the whole point. It was their only way to avoid capture. We just came up along the Suriname River, and we'll follow that all the way up to the Maroon village and the little grass landing field in the middle of the rainforest. With any luck, my buddy Serrano will be there, because he's the one who knows where we're going. Hey, Serrano, you made it. Yes, All right. yes, I've been here. I told the people you were coming, and uh, <laughs> you brought the chair? Yeah, I got this where chair. Did, I figured it'd be a it. cool gift. It'd yeah. be a cool gift. Good, man, good. <laughs> From the plane to the boat, okay. in this part of Suriname, yeah, there are no roads. The river's the only way to get around. In the dry season, the river drops, and the boats get stuck. To get the paddles or the motor, you've got to get out and push. After stashing our gear and getting back into dry clothes, it's on to Yao Yao. Great. Wow. At the base of the rapids, the village. Ah, here's one of the paddles I was talking about. Look at this. It has this great shape to it, sort of diamond shape. And I actually like this real simple, subtle design and then that forked, uh, forked top. It's a neat paddle. I haven't seen one like this anywhere else in the world. <laughs> ah, it's the... How idyllic is this? <laughs> That's why you come to Suriname, right there. Look at this view. Short walk through the village and I already see beautiful stuff. Utilitarian things, but with a very sophisticated style. So what's it, is it a trap of some sort or no, what is it? You no, know, no, when they have the cassava, they grind the cassava, mm -hmm. then they put the cassava inside. Oh, to get all the, the all juice the out? juice out. I mean, yes. not only is it a beautiful piece of work, but the functionality of this is fantastic. Sure. The maroons make remarkable objects using unusual tools. This woman uses broken glass to carve designs into calabash bowls. Oh, finished ones, this yeah, finished some ones. finished yes. ones. Nice big bold designs. Wow, these are gorgeous. These are really pretty. Do you know how much a size like this would cost? Less than four dollars. Yeah, less. Yeah, three dollars and seventy cents. Yeah. For me, the bowls are perfect. My customers will love them, so I'll buy a bunch of these. But the craftsman I'm most excited to see is the one making the canoe paddles. Hello, Sambum. Hi. It's what the Maroons are most famous for. Ah, uh, pleasure. Nice to meet you. He, he's the pedal maker, boat maker. He's, he's a very good man in wood carving. Can I take a look at it? It looks like it's almost finished, actually. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I don't know if you remember the paddle that we saw earlier, but this has all this beautiful detail on it. Uh, sapakara tifi. This decoration is called the sap Sapakara tifi. Sapakara is a ground iguana, a big lizard that lives on the ground, mm -hmm. and the teeth of this, the sapakara, that's the decoration. Can I buy it from him? Well, I'm going to ask if I can buy it. Yeah, I'll come buy it. Yeah, he says you can buy it because he makes pedals and people come, they buy pedals. That's, that's his living also. How much? A hundred SRD. A hundred SRD? So it's like uh, $40? 40 dollars? Forty dollars for yeah. this paddle? Yeah. 
That's a that's an easy decision for you. That's, that's a deal, man. That's great. Okay. It's a beautiful paddle. What a find! It looks like it should be in a museum, and for only forty bucks. Next, buying a paddle is one thing. Using it in a canoe race against these guys, not that easy. <laughs> My chair makes a big impression, especially on the women. Bringing a chair to the village thing has turned into a much bigger event than I really anticipated. And it gets me in a little bit of hot water. You gotta look in her eyes, right? Now. Good. We're on our way to the race. Don't know what happens to the loser, though. I'm now the proud owner of a new boat paddle. In this maroon village, deep in the rainforest of Suriname, canoeing the wild rivers of way of life. Kids grow up with paddles in their hands. But like a fool, I let Serrano talk me into having a canoe race against the strongest man in the village. This is your boat. The, the boat they're bailing out is my yes, boat? Yes, they have a special boat for you. Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> they got a special boat for me. He needs a little more of practice, but he is talented. They killed me, but it was great. Nice work. Later that night, the Maroons throw a party in my honor. Seems my chair is now the talk of the village, and I'm about to find out why. Of course, now I get the real story. The only time you give a maroon woman this chair is when you want to marry her. How did I wind up in the middle of this? You have this amazing sense of community. I mean, this little village can't be more than 600 people. This is what they do all the time. And the winner. She didn't want me anyway. She just wanted the chair. Nice. By the time we get out of Yao Yao, the sun is coming up. I haven't married anybody, and I have my prized maroon paddle. Suriname really took me by surprise. I discovered a country bursting with different cultures, but somehow still isolated from the outside world. I'll definitely be back.